Each packet is limited in its size. The mailroom must decide how to divide the information and how to package it. Now the package needs a label containing important information such as sender's address, receiver's address, and the type of packet it is. Because this particular packet is going out onto the internet, it also gets an address for the proxy server, which has a special function, as we'll see later. The packet is now launched onto your local area network, or LAN. This network is used to connect all the local computers, routers, printers, etc., for information exchange within the physical walls of the building. The highway of the LAN is packed with all types of information. These are IP packets, Novell packets, Apple Talk packets. The local router reads the address and, if necessary, lifts the packet onto another network. As the packets leave the router, they make their way into the corporate intranet and head for the router switch. As packets arrive at their destination, they're picked up by the network interface, ready to be sent to the next level. In this case, the proxy. The proxy is used by many companies as sort of a middleman in order to lessen the load on their internet connection, and for security reasons as well. The proxy opens the packet and looks for the web address or URL. Depending upon whether the address is acceptable, the packet is sent on to the internet. There are, however, some addresses which do not meet with the approval of the proxy, that is to say corporate or management guidelines. These are summarily dealt with. For those who make it, it's on the road again. Next up, the firewall. The corporate firewall serves two purposes. It prevents some rather nasty things from the Internet from coming into the intranet. And it can also prevent sensitive corporate information from being sent out onto the Internet. Once through the firewall, a router picks up the packet and places it onto a much narrower road, or bandwidth, as we say. Obviously, the road is not broad enough to take them all. Now you might wonder what happens to all those packets which don't make it along the way. Well, when Mr. IP doesn't receive an acknowledgement that a packet has been received in due time, he simply sends a replacement packet. We are now ready to enter the world of the Internet. A spider web of interconnected networks which span our entire globe. Here, routers and switches establish links between networks. The paths our packets take may be via satellite, telephone lines, wireless, or even transoceanic cable. Near the end of our destination, we'll find another firewall. The firewall is designed to let in only those packets that meet its criteria. This firewall is operating on ports 80 and 25. Port 25 is used for mail packets, while port 80 is the entrance for packets from the internet to the web server. 
Inside the firewall, packets are screened more thoroughly. Some packets make it easily through customs, while others look just a bit dubious. For those packets lucky enough to make it this far, the journey is almost over. It's just a line up on the interface to be taken up into the web server. One by one, the packets are received, opened, and unpacked. 